What's up YouTube? Back again for another album review. This time I'm going to be reviewing an album from my second favorite band of all time. Um, this album came out in 1969. This is their debut album. And if you can hear that, you know exactly what band I'm talking about. I'm talking about the almighty Led Zeppelin and their debut album, Led Zeppelin 1. This album is just, it was so revolutionary and ahead of its time. This Led Zeppelin was really heavy before it, before there is even such a term as being heavy. I mean, they, most people consider them the heaviest band of all time because, I mean, they've, you know, I consider them basically the inventors of, like, hard rock. I don't think they invented metal. I think Black Sabbath has that, uh, prestigious honor, but Led Zeppelin was probably heavy. They were definitely heavy before their time, and this album was so different and unique at that time that nobody had ever seen or heard anything like this before. I believe Rolling Stone magazine listed it at number 29 greatest album of all time, and that's very high praise, so... I'll go ahead and get right into the track listing. This is Led Zeppelin 1, one of the best Led Zeppelin albums, without a question. And this is a re-release of on vinyl here. I just got it about a week or two ago, so yeah. First song, Good Times, Bad Times. Just an epic way to start out the album. It's just a perfect way to introduce yourself as a band with the beginning bum bum. I mean, it's just awesome. It's such a heavy song. The guitar solo in it is epic. Jimmy Page, I mean, epic solo, pretty much like always. Great powerhouse drumming by Bonham. I mean, Plant, John Paul Jones, they all sound great. This is just an epic song. One of Led Zeppelin's most known songs. Awesome where you start the album. Second song, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You. Great song. I think it may be a little too long for my liking, but it's still a great song. I love the acoustic in it. I just love Robert Plant's vocal. This might be his best vocal performance on the album. Maybe one of his best in the history of Led Zeppelin. Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You is a great song. I love it. The third song, You Shook Me. This is Most of these songs at least have been influenced by other songs or are covers. You Shook Me is a cover. Baby, I'm Gonna Leave You is also a cover. But You Shook Me is a great bluesy song. This was Led Zeppelin. No, no band had ever influenced blues and hard rock before, really. And Led Zeppelin was the, pretty much the first to do that. That's why this is so groundbreaking and revolutionary album. You Shook Me is a great bluesy song. It's awesome. It's a, it, it might be a little too long as well, but it is great. I mean, it's just straight blues, just magic. It's a great song. Then the fourth song to end side one is The Epic Days and Confused. I mean, what else can you say about this song? Jake Holmes was the original person who did this song, even though it wasn't quite the same song, but it was most of the same stuff in it. But Days and Confused is just an absolutely amazing song. The guitar solo in it is epic, where it picks up in the middle part is just awesome. I love the bass in this song. I mean, Plant sounds great. I mean, it is just one of the most defining songs of Led Zeppelin's career, and it was the showcase of their live shows for many, many years. So, Days and Confused, just an epic, epic song. Then Side 2 kicks off with Your Time Is Gonna Come, another very good song. If, I don't know if it's just me, but this song... The arrangement of it through the beginning and the riff and stuff almost sounds like Sweet Home Alabama. I don't know if that's just me, but it kind of sounds like that. I mean, it's not remotely the same song, but it sounds similar. But Your Time Is Gonna Come is a really good song. I think the chorus is kind of underwhelming a little bit personally, but other than that, I love the organ in it by John Paul Jones. I just think it's a really good song, pretty underrated song on the album. Then the next song is the instrumental Black Mountain Side. This is a very, very good instrumental. So relaxing. Great guitar work by Jimmy Page. I mean, this is just awesome. It's not very long, but it doesn't have to be. It gets the job done and what the amount that it's on the album for. So Black Mountain Side's a great instrumental. Then it leads right into Communication Breakdown, and this song is just straight punk rock. I don't care what anybody says. You can make the case that it's also heavy metal. It's just so fast-paced, heavy, the riff. I mean, it's just straight punk rock, metal, whatever you want to call it. I love it. One of the best songs. This is all. This was influenced by another song. It, it's not exactly a cover, but it was influenced by another song, most like a lot of the other songs on this album. But yeah, Communication Breakdown is a great song, great heavy song, heavy before its time. Next song on the album is I Can't Quit You, Baby. This was a cover. It was originally by Blind Willie Dixon, I believe, and this is a great another blues, just another just awesome blues song. I think I like this song better than You Shook Me, because this one's not quite as long, and I think it has a little more features in the song than You Shook Me does. But yeah, you're, uh, rather, I Can't Quit You Baby's a great song. Then side one, or side one, side two uh, ends with How Many More Times, the last song on the album. 
and this is another great song. I love the bass line in it. This is a very, very good song. It probably is my favorite on the album, honestly. It is a great song. I love how it just, it goes on for a long time. It's a long song, but it doesn't seem like it's as long as it is. It's just a great song. I love, like I said, I love the bass work in it. Great lyrics, great vocal performance by Robert Plant. Every member of the band is great on every song, basically. It's just that good. So, yeah, that's all the songs on Led Zeppelin 1. And, I mean, this album is just simply amazing. Like I said, it, it's, it's probably a top Rolling Stone listed at number 29 greatest album of all time. And it's definitely revolutionary and before its time. So, if I was to give it a rating, I'd probably have to give it a 9.5 or 10 out of 10. It is probably close to perfect. So, it's just a great album and it's a great introduction to what would become the greatest hard rock band of all time. So thank you all for watching, and I will continue my Kiss discography and other album reviews in the future. Thanks for watching.